All right, today's EMF meter question is from Zach. Uh, Zach asked for me to complete a blog post, but I just haven't had time, so I can make him a video in about five minutes that will help with this. So it says, hello, Matt, thanks for your reply. I would appreciate your recommendations for measuring magnetic fields, electric fields, body voltage, and RF in a reliable and affordable way. Uh, I understand that it will require multiple meters to measure them all. Cost is a concern, however, not at the sake of reliability. I'd like to be able to measure a sauna and then use them around the house as well. Okay, Zach. Um, well, unfortunately, if you want to measure everything reliably, you're going to need separate meters for certain stuff. The thing that I would tell you not to buy is a Trifield 100 XE, which is what most people say to buy. Um, that is an analog. Uh, I've got one right here, actually. I should have brought the meters out here before I started this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really set up to do this right this moment, but the meter that I would say not to buy is this one. Um, there's a Trifield TF2 that most people say is much improved, that it will supposedly be a tri-mode meter and do all things well. Um, I own it, I bought it, I have it somewhere in the other room, maybe in the sauna room. Um, I would say that it's not the case. It does two things pretty well. It'll measure electric fields and magnetic fields very well uh, for what it is and for the cost. I think it's about $160. I'm going to put a link to the exact meters that I would recommend in the YouTube description below. And then I'm also gonna separate them. So it'll be the meters that I think are good. And then below that, I'm gonna put some links to meters that I think you should avoid. Now, the reason that I'm doing that is because sometimes when you look on Amazon or something like that, some of the meters will have great reviews, but they're from people that have never compared this stuff. And so part of the reason is, you know, like for example, let me take these off. Well, actually, I think you can see them. So part of the reason is, even if you have a tri-field TF2 and it measures electric and magnetic fields very well, the RF sensitivity is improved on that one, better than this one, but it's not improved to the, to the point where it would compete with an acoustometer. Um, <clears throat> this is an AM10 acoustometer. This is the model number. I'll put a link in the YouTube description below directly to it. This is one of the best RF meters that you can buy for household use. Um, for a couple hundred dollars. The sensitivity is great. It doesn't have an external antenna, so if you're trying to measure like cell phone antennas or stuff that's really far away, or things coming in from outside the house, it's not really gonna do that directional long range stuff very well because it doesn't have an antenna like that. You could line a, a shoe box with foil paper and then stick this in it and you can kind of make it directional for discovering things in the home. But the RF sensitivity on this is good enough to detect um, how much Wi-Fi you're getting from a router even when it's on the other end of the house, or if you've got a neighbor or anything like that, if, you got, if you're in an apartment, you've got somebody below you or above you or whatever, it definitely has plenty of sensitivity to detect that stuff. It will help you filter out pretty much, it'll detect if you have Bluetooth on on a TV, um, a surround sound system that's wireless, uh, if that stuff reaches in the bedroom, even though it's in the living room. Very, very, very good meter. I would highly recommend this if you wanna measure RF. Um, as long as you're not doing cell phone tower stuff, uh, like I say, or long range, high frequency. Um, this is probably the best meter for everybody for doing RF, which is Bluetooth. It'll, 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 um, the frequency response is also fast enough to detect uh, spikes in a smart meter, as long as they're not really, really, really rapid. Um, but for most people and almost all smart meters, this is plenty good. Um, RF sensitivity on the tri-fields, even the TF2 is not my favorite. Uh, that's probably what I'd recommend. If you only say you only have $200 to spend and you can only buy one meter, how do we get this in the shot? I would buy this. This is a Cornet ED88T. Again, I'm going to put a link in the YouTube description directly to these because the Cornet ED78T uh, does not have the same functionality as this. So make damn sure <laughs> that when you check these out on Amazon or wherever you want to buy it, that the actual model number is the one that I'm talking about because they look identical to each other, but you've got to get this one. So this one has pretty good RF sensitivity. So it will also detect all that stuff. It does electric and magnetic fields fairly well. It's not going to be as accurate as say a triple axis Gauss meter, which is the Alpha Labs that's usually right here. If you want the best of the best, you're going to have to watch a longer video than I have. It's about 15 minutes long. Uh, maybe it's not uploaded yet. It might be in the queue. Sometimes videos take forever to get uploaded and, and set up and published. Um, but basically, I lay all the meters that I have out, and I talk about the pros and the cons of each one. If you wanted the best of the best, you would have to get um, 
an electric fields meter like the gigahertz solutions that i have in the other room uh you'd have to get an acousticom or um I'm sorry, Acousta Meter <laughs> AM10. Here I am saying the wrong thing. Another reason why I put the links in there. Um, and then you'd also have to get a Gauss meter that's triple axis if you truly want the best of the best. But those three meters combined are probably going to run you over $1,000 um, just for those. So I would probably say that that's overkill for most people. Uh, what I would recommend is just kind of tailoring it to your situation. If you give me more details... Um, Actually, you did give me details, didn't you? Yeah, so to measure the sauna, I mean, you can pretty much get away with a Trifield TF2 or this Cornet meter right here. And both of those will do RF. The Cornet's going to do it a little better. Um, if you wanted to do it the other way around, you could get a Trifield TF2, which is a little bit cheaper than the Cornet. I think it's about 160 bucks. And then this is a couple hundred dollars, and this will measure your RF and your Bluetooth very well. I hope that makes sense. If not, I can always make you another video. Sorry it took me so long to get to your question. Hope you have a great day.